All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Vinland Saga season two, episode three. In the last episode, we were learning more about Einar uh, and Thorfinn and how their relationship is growing together. Einar is still not really into this idea. It's a pretty cool concept of what Kettle's got them going through at the moment, which is earn your freedom, work these lands, they'll become yours, and then I'll buy them off you, which is awesome. Earn your freedom. As far as slavery goes, it's one of the nicer options of it. Um, but um, yeah, Thorfinn's definitely just kind of in some kind of depressive mood because he just seems like he's given up. Uh, Aina's not about that. He's still like, fuck it, you know, fuck these guys that are overworking us or being assholes about it when, you know, they were free too. They've been in our position probably. Um, and yeah, we were introduced to also Kettle's son, whose name I have forgotten. Uh, seems like a bit of a, um, I don't know how you say it, like rich, rich person's son, just life has kind of been handed to him but also not like he he wants to go out there and be a warrior he's completely no idea what it's like out there in the world he probably wouldn't be able to handle it but he seems redeemable i think at some point he's going to be redeemable i would like to see uh, Thorfinn, uh, Einar, and uh, this guy as well be like kind of a trio i think that'd be cool um but yeah if not definitely Thorfinn and Einar because i want to see them i want to see them grow i want to see them grow together I want to see them fight together. I think that'd be awesome if Thorfinn could teach him how to fight and stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, very much looking forward to this. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh yeah, they were taking this guy for a drink, weren't they? Are these motherfuckers fighting each other? That's what y'all do for fun, just beat the shit out of each other? Yeah, you threw him off a cliff! Oh my god. Well, good job they landed in the water. Is this guy drunk? I mean, he is 17, so I guess he gets drunk quickly. I mean, they're clearly kissing up to him right now. 17 is a weird age, though, not gonna lie. How does he lay the cup down when it's like a horn? What do you do with it? You just kind of hold it all the time, or...? Oh, they're bodyguards? I thought they were, um... I thought they were, like, working the fields. I wonder if they actually have the smoke. I wonder if they're actually worth what they say they are. I mean, yeah, that's one, one effective way to knock someone off their guard. Damn, they're probably not half bad. They're probably not on the level of, like, Thorfinn or someone, but... Bro, you're 17. Relax. <laughs> you can learn to fight. I mean, you're acting like one, bro. <laughs> it might just be because you're drunk, but... A rite of passage? Which is what? Kill someone? Oh, I got it right. Damn. Killing someone makes you a man in this world. I mean... It makes you something. Yeah, freaking serial killer vibes. Where where do people draw the line of murder in this world? Like, is is murder okay? Obviously, if you're defending yourself, of course. But is he saying he what he should murder someone? Yeah, he's saying to kill a slave. Fuck off! Oh. I want him to go to go for Thorfinn. He'd be a dead man. God, you're already, like, bought. Your life's bought by someone, and then they're just allowed to kill you as well? Fucking life sucks. I really... I really doubt this forest could be taken down in a year. I'm not gonna lie. Orphan? Are you good? Oh, yeah, he's having a bad dream. Shit. Hey, boy, did you wash your hands? Of course you didn't, but still. Damn, it's crazy to see Thorfinn like this. Fuck, I wonder if that happens um, happens often. Oh, it's the girl. Isn't this the... Is she a slave, or is it... Kettle's daughter? I thought it was his daughter or something. <laughs> Four fins, I don't give a fuck. You do you, bro. 
Yeah, you're gonna get more hot and bothered. <laughs> I know so funny. What were you dreaming about, bro? On head. On head? Oh yeah, I forgot they're supposed to be speaking a different language here. Since your accent is so thick. Nah, bro, you sound Japanese just like me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is she not the daughter? Oh, shit. I mean, she's dressed like a slave. It makes sense. Personal attendant? What's, what, what does that mean? What do you, what do, what do you attend to? Are you going to choose one of these guys for old bro to try and kill? I don't know about that one, Chief. He'd have a better chance of Aynard, but I think he's stronger than uh, the boss's daughter. Wait, it better not be the girl that he's been tasked to kill. That'd be fuck. That'd suck. Surely not, because she's the personal attendant, so... Kettle would definitely be pissed about that. Yeah, they're just gonna have him fight them. Both of them? Are they insane? You may as well just have Forfin and Aina train him or something. Oh, I want Forfin to snap. Die for us? Are you insane, bro? How about Forfin takes off everybody's head here? Yeah, then give me a sword. Like, bitch. Fighting someone like this, it does not make you a man. Sick him, Forfin. Get him. Yeah, bro. Killing's definitely scary. Are you crazy? He's not desensitized to it like you are. Nah, Aina, you better run, bro. This ain't you. Damn. I respect Aina for this. He doesn't know who his friend is. <laughs> he doesn't know he's him. He's like, ah, oh, yada yada. Guess I gotta step in. Yeah, are you, are you is he actually giving up his life right here? Or is he gonna, like, stop him somehow? Who's this guy? Oh, is this, um... Wait, is it... What was it? Peter? Pietro? Like, the, the guy that was free? No, it's not. It's someone else. Who's this? Who's this Orlando Bloom looking motherfucker? Kind of Orlando Bloom. He looked like it from far away. <laughs> he kind of looks raw, I'm not going to lie. He looks strong. Oh, is he related to, um, Kel? I know, it's someone else. Is this going to happen before the end of the episode? Like, come on, bro. Or is he just going to take the slash and be like, yeah, cool, I'll get back to work now. Yes, it certainly does. Okay, Forvin. I feel like he's going to try him now. You don't want this, bro. Death. Wow, so are all, the, are all the guys here bodyguards, I'm guessing? I don't think Forfin's scared to die. I think Forfin's scared of something else. Bro didn't even flinch. I hope Forfin bodies this man. Oh, is this guy a bodyguard as well? Yeah! Bro, he's not even flinching. You should know by now this is a problem. Man's taking like four cuts like this. Oh my god. Bro, read the room. He's not flinched once. Death happens to everyone. Forfin is different right now. God damn, what has happened to this man? I mean, I know mostly what's happened to this man, but... God.
What changed, Thorfinn? No fucking way. Dude. He didn't even flinch from that. Bro, step back. Oh, all the bodyguards have names of animals. Oh, he's the boss. You are about to lose some teeth. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fucking deserved. I can't believe you lobbed off part of his ear. Oh my god. Yeah, this man is definitely raw. Holy shit. Oh, the episode can't just end there. Is it ended? Damn! These warriors need to get the idea here because all these cuts, they're, they're so dumb. All these cuts on a man's body, after one, he would squint, he would blink, he would cower in pain. It, uh, on basically any other person, unless they were on hard drugs. But he talked about like seven or eight cuts and then lopped off part of his ear. Didn't even blink. I don't think, I don't know. I don't actually, I don't know what's happened with Thorfinn here. I don't know if he would have accepted just dying right there or getting his eye cut out like he said he was going to. He didn't seem to move. I don't think he has much to live for right now. So I don't know if he would have just accepted that. But yeah, um, they're lucky that Thorfinn's in depression mode right now because everybody there would have been dead. Um, yeah, this new guy, Snake, he seems, he looks raw. Like, <laughs> I can already tell he's he's a he's a fighter. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. Possibly, maybe they'll train. He'll train Thorfinn or something will happen between them. I'm not sure, but I don't think Thorfinn needs training, to be honest. I think he just needs to, the will to fight back in his life. Um, maybe he'll train Aynard, I don't know. But um, yeah, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.